I write it down. I put, oh, let's see. I put a little, just about a little over two cups of flour, a teaspoon of salt, and then three quarters of a cup of shortening. And then I get the dough hook here. See the dough hook? Oh yeah, that's very nice. And then you just kind of go like this. And explain about the apples. Hmm? What did you do with the apples, preparing the apples? I put it through one of these. See? Oh, what you is buy that? One of these and it pours it and peels it at the same time. Oh, cool. Oh, I've seen that, yeah. And then I cut them up. But I put it in the bowl. <laughs> it's all together. But I feel like I have to add a little more flour. I can just tell by the consistency. So I'm going to drop in a little bit of flour. Okay, go back to the, uh, what, was the what was the recipe that you said you started with? Two cups, how you really make the crust correctly is two and two thirds cups of flour, one teaspoon of salt, and one cup of shortening. And you just and mix it. And then you just break it all up into tiny, tiny little pieces using one of these dough things. And you add any water or anything? Yes, I didn't get there yet. And then, now I'm going to add some water. Like maybe. I put a little bit in there. Put like a half a cup. Oh, you didn't measure it. You just pulled it right out of the sink. Huh? You just got it right out of the sink. You didn't measure it. Right here. Right, but you didn't measure it. You just poured it right from the sink into the bowl. Yeah, I just put like maybe a um, quarter of a cup to a half a cup. See? And then I kind of mix it up with the knife. See? So it makes it like it makes it like um, clumpy together. Okay, and how did you, and do you, what did you mix into the apples when you did the apples? Talk about the apples while you mix them. Oh, the apples I mixed in eight cups of apples, one cup of sugar, one third cup of flour, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and three tablespoons of butter. You put that on the top. And then you just mix it all up. Right. How do you, how do you get eight cups of apples? You just, you don't put you apples put in a like cup. Ten apples in it. Okay. There you go. That's what I was kind of looking for. Okay, see how it all clumped up? Mm-hmm. Now, this is how I have to clear Tommy. You should show this to Dad. <laughs> and then we cut it in half. So now I have a clump. But you don't want to play with it too much because the more you play with it, the tougher it gets. See how nice that is? See what I just got out of this? Uh-huh. Okay. And then I just go like this, just like this, and now here's the, uh, the pie, and then you put it down on the flour to make it floury on both sides. Oh, I forgot my rolling pin, wait, I'm going to wash. Since I was married, Johnny. Oh, that's Good. pretty cool. All right. Same one. So then, you see what I'm doing? Uh huh. And then I'm going to roll it out and I press it very gently. And I flip it over. And now, I'm rolling it out. Fold it back and over. Here I go. Did you see what I just did? Yeah, why don't you do that? Here is the crust. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, perfect, yeah. Yeah, I know how to, you know, been doing this for years. Now I flip it, but I put uh, Crisco on the pie plate to make it greasy so it doesn't stick. And now I'm laying 
for the pie crust dough with the dough, you see. Wait till you see this when I post it. And now, send it to Greg. <laughs> Hi, Greg. Okay, here is mm -hmm. pie crust. Okay. See how nice it is? The consistency, right. it just lays there. Now, I'm going to add the apple mixture. It's all mixed together. And I'm putting it in the pan. And you did throw, you threw some, um, you, what you did to say, you threw some raisins in there because everybody likes them in your family. A little lift in there. Now I'm piling it up high. You should tell us the dad. <laughs> oh, okay, go ahead. Huh? Keep going. His mouth will be drooling. I want a piece. <laughs> and I got it in the middle. See how it's stacked up in the middle? See how high that is so then it doesn't rip. I'm going to make the, the pie crust come right over the top of this. Now. You got to roll out the, <laughs> the top. But you could have rolled them together, but it's all right. What? Rolled what together? You could have had the top and bottom already rolled out, but you didn't. So, I usually look separate. Because I only have so much counter space, see? That's right. So now, I pre-cut up some butter, and you push for it. Just put a little dab of butter on the top, and so that makes it a little consistency here. And you put that on the top. Now you said Auntie Cleo showed you how to make this? Yes, yes. Now, did she, you guys did one together just like this? Or? Oh, yeah, we used to do it all the time. I go over there and visit, we make apple pie. Okay. Now, I have... You now, Fontaine and Marie are going to go, that's not how she made it. She kind of changed it. Auntie Cleo always put a little lemon in it. That's her secret. Okay. Put a little bit of lemon. Now I can see you using fresh lemon cheater. I don't, I don't have any right now. <laughs> Auntie Cleo used fresh lemon. That's right. From the store. <laughs> I don't know where, but okay. you know, she had it. All the goodies use lots of, you know, lemon. That's right. The goodies use lots of lemon. All right, Janice, I would stay away from the Greek accent. <laughs> now? Leave that up to the professionals. Okay. I'm going to add the bottom part of the dough. Oh, that doesn't look as good as the top, does it? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's getting there. Now? I'm going to roll that out now. Can you see me? Yeah, it looks a little clumpy there, Jim. You need a little water. Be fine, trust me. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Now, another roll. I'm gonna roll it. That roller pin sounds terrible, by the way. What? It sounds like the, the ball bearings are falling out of it. Oh, it's 33 years old. <laughs> As long as it works. I made a, I made a lot of uh, pies out of this little roller uh -huh. pin. So okay, then, you've been on you've been on camera now for almost nine minutes. Oh my goodness! Okay, I'm rolling it out. <laughs> Is it time for a commercial break? Not until the top's on here. Okay. Okay, now I'm rolling this out. See? But you want to roll it out nice and thin. You don't want to really have a lot of crust. You want it to make it not tough. But so this is this is thinner than the than the bottom. Right. Yeah, a little bit. I can roll this baby out. Okay. Now I'm gonna put it in the middle. Why do you fold it? Why don't you just put it right on the pie? No, you don't do it that way. The Greeks fold it in fourths. Oh, okay. Well, then I put a little cut right where it meets right here. Do you yeah, see that? Yeah. So now you just put it, and then I'll make an X when you open it up. You said that though. Oh, so you found the center. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, so now you have the cover on it. See? Mm-hmm. And now this is what Auntie Cleo taught me is you roll it in and you use your thumb. 
to go all the way around. And I'm rolling it together so the juices don't come out and get all over your oven. See? Ah. You know how I'm rolling it? Mm-hmm. You could put a little pan underneath that pie, right, in case it spilled? <clears throat> yes, you could. If you were smart. So all of this, all of this is being folded in, <clears throat> and uh -huh. the juices can't spill out on the sides. Okay. See how I did that? Yep. <clears throat> and you can see my thumbs in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, God, that's it. Nobody wants that pie. I know, it's a spilly pie. Okay. <clears throat> I, I got a tickly throat. There it is. All right, you, you poke any holes in it with a fork or anything? You put any holes in the crust? Just that one on the top? So, you take... I'm not going to cook it tonight. I'm going to cook it tomorrow. What you do... Is you take an egg. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a cage-free egg. You take this and then you stir it up. Can they? They never dig through there. Utensil dry when they're doing one of these shows. You take this and you take the egg and you mix it up and then you 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 base the whole the whole pie on the top and that gives it a nice brown shiny. Oh, okay. So you're using the egg white and the yolk. Yeah, the whole thing. I just I don't use all I don't use all the egg, just a little bit. All right, slow down. Let me see the brush close up. <clears throat> down, down. All right, way, 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 too close. Oh my God. Okay, there you go. Yeah, this is made out of boar bristles. This right here. Okay. And yeah. then <clears throat> you take the egg and you mix it up with this. Yeah, a whisk. Okay. And then you just dip it and you you paint the whole entire top. Okay, you put any cinnamon on there or anything, and nothing on top. The cinnamon's inside. Okay, nothing goes on the crust, and we're yeah. done. Except this. Okay. You bake it for 425 for like 40 minutes. Okay. Until it's bubbly and brown. And then you take it out, let it cool, vanilla ice cream. And there you have it. Okay. Uh, homemade apple pie. My sister Janet Ward in Oregon. Got the recipe from my, my Aunt Cleo Mangeritas from Belmont, Mass. Hallelujah. Nice job, Janet. Thank you. Okay, come down to the camera and smile. I can't see your face. Oh, you can't see me? No, give me a thumbs up. Ah, you're still, I can't see. There you go. Okay, good. Bye-bye. <laughs>